no fuel stop. But we're going to make it to the Flying J in Dade City, Florida. And we're not going to go home. We're just going to get picked up. Well, we're going to go home. We're just going to... I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I think we're just going to go for a quick to the house and come back and I don't know what the heck we're going to do. I know I'm going to the Flying J. Meet meet the wife there. See what's going on. So, uh. so we're here in Alabama. About to take off. We got 522 miles to the Flying J there. Where are we at here? Just did our pre-trip. Everything's looking good. Everything's blinking, everything's aired up, nothing's leak. well, no leaks, no drips, I didn't want to do that, oh, alright, no leaks, no drips, everything's flashing, so we're good to go. Oh, man, in the Alabama Welcome Center. Ten East. I was outside a little bit ago. I was doing my pre trip, and there's a truck next to me. The Alabama Service something. Pro, I don't know. It's like the roadside guys in, the, in all the different states. Well, he must have been working last night or, or working early, but he was parked in between my truck and this truck next to me. He was snoozing away. Oh, the sun's gonna be vicious. Where's my sunglasses? Oh no, I don't know where my sunglasses are at. Oh man. My sunglasses are always right here. They're not here. They're not here. on like a lot of old stuff mainly like Volkswagens and stuff that's my thing that's my whole thing is to make a make a Volkswagen channel one day but I don't know when we have time <laughs> that's funny one day we will one day we will that'd be pretty cool to tinker around I'm a Volkswagen guy too fast too fast when flashing. Ice going through Mobile on a Sunday morning. Tunnel. It's too 
getting short. You ever go over that one? Oh. I may get it wrong. Is it the Chesapeake Bay Bridge? There's like a bridge, the tunnel, then a bridge again. I think it's pretty cool. I went, I went, went, went over that one time. trucks just poof, just blast on by and you know, they never have any uh, chasers out there I guess you can say there's it's usually like one or two guys sometimes they'll ask you what you have and another time they'll just be you know just wave you by you know playing on their phone you know playing Candy Crush or something oh keep on going you know, I can have a whole bunch of bad plants on my trailer, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes it just, I mean, it's not like it's, it's not like I'm losing valuable time having to stop, but it's just, just a pain, you know, it's like, I don't understand it. You know, then you get hit with the way station like a mile down the road, you know. some of them from time to time and like you know the, the, the on-ramp has just been loaded and I just I just cruised on by you know I don't know man uh, I don't know what it's for I, I never see them doing anything you know the only trucks I've seen them like inspecting they've been like you know like livestock or cattle you know but like this morning I went through and uh, as soon as I, I was I was pulling up, he he was walk. I seen him like he was he walked outside, 
I'm like, oh dang, he's, he's gonna t come talk to me. And, and I just pulled up and he was standing outside and he just he asked me what I'm hauling. We got water heaters. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know. I guess I don't understand the point of it. I gotta Google it. See what it's all about. What it's really about. What it's, you know, are they making money? I never, I never see them doing inspections. So you know, I know they, I know they probably do, but I never see them doing anything. I don't. I would hope it's not a waste of taxpayer money, but it looks like it. But it's probably not. Probably not like that. We're gonna keep on going. We have, what do we have? 200? Woo! In 80 miles to I-75. Then from 75 to, to the Flying J in Dade City is about 150. So, so once we get to uh, 75, they'll figure out we're gonna take our break. I'm not driving the whole way. <laughs> so we'll take a break here. Probably about about five hours. That's still a pretty good little distance there. Woo, man. Yeah, we just coming up on exit 17. We need an exit 296.